Hey everybody, this is uh, Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm here in Dida, Didma, 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 <laughs> Turkey, and this is the ruins of Apollo. And so this is the Apollo uh, um, temple right here. And so a uh, little history. Apollo was the brother of Artemis, and Apollo was married to Medusa. And so I think there's a statue of Medusa in here that's supposed to be really famous and uh, and more I'm sure. So it looks pretty intact, so it'll be it'll be fun. Bye everybody. All right, everybody. This is the Temple of Apollo. Pretty amazing. And I'm in uh, Didim, Didima, but I think it's Didim, but uh, they call it Didima. And these are the grounds and the temple is here and then where is medusa is there a medusa head around here or statue of medusa apollo 1776 off oh, past um but here's the write-up on it historic background of the sanctuary so this is the seventh century bc so this is really old um, besides Apollo, other gods were worshipped in Didyma. Those other gods had partly their own cultic places Artem for Artemis, who next to Apollo was certainly the most prominent div div divinity. Huh. Did you get all that positive? Me too. All right. And there's cats everywhere. Where's the statue of Medusa? down inside here okay thank you uh, a sugar a dream to sugar a dream hi kitties meow meow are you friendly yes i know all right ah there's a statue of uh Medusa. Maybe this is pre-snake or post-snake and pre-snake. Look at how big that thing is, man. That is just enormous. Wow. And there's houses all over the place. <laughs> it's like it, uh, they just grew up the city right around, uh, the temple. So let's see what we got here. The sanctuary precinct. As as you need to. And this is what we're looking at right here. So this is the part we see. And then it goes all the way back. Wow. So D and the architectural elements is there a is here which was uh also dates to the early period and i guess this is just what we get here and then there's just all sorts of city everywhere else well, i'll keep going because there's another another sign over here and there's a bull lots of bulls Look how big the, <laughs> the the columns are. I mean, the, that's that's probably what six feet across. I mean, that's just silly crazy. How would you move that? I guess block and tackle. Wow. I mean, that's just that's my body length. Wow. 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 The Temple of Apollo with a length of 120 meters and a height of 25 meters. So 25 meters is 75 feet. 120 is going to be what? 100 is going to be 300 feet plus 20, 60, 160 feet long or 360 feet long. This is what it used to look like. And look at the people. See how small the people are compared to how big this thing is? I mean, that is just, that's that's really what we're looking at here. I mean, there, I can imagine. I mean, it's just huge. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures. Bye everybody. Wow. 
you know, I, I think what's hard about this is that it's hard to express how big these things are. I mean, the, um, the columns are, I mean, I, you know, I've been to lots of places and seen lots of columns and lots of towers and lots of those kind of things, but these are, these are crazy big. I mean, the steps, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve steps, but I mean, these columns are just beyond. I mean, all right, so let's do this. So I'm going to measure how big a base is. Let's find out. Here's a square one, okay? So I'll measure with my feet this length right here. And my feet are 14 inches. So with a shoe, it's probably 15 inches. But we'll just count with a foot. So, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so eight and a half so that's eight and a half so that column is is you know eight and a half feet eight and a half feet or eight and a, it's probably more than that it's probably more like nine and a half well yeah because 12 yeah they're big they're crazy big and look at the walls wow look how thick the walls are the walls are eight feet thick. Wow. And there's just tons of them. This whole thing would be lined with these columns. And they're huge. And this probably would have been stairs up, maybe. How do you get up? Oh, there's a door over there and a door over here. So this was like the inner sanctuary building. Wow. Does that give you an idea what we're looking at, kind of? I mean, you have to imagine this went up, what, what they say, 20 feet, so 60, 60 feet, 20 meters. So that's probably that thing, 60 feet, and that whole thing was covered. Over to that side. Wow. Wow. I think I'm going to take some more pictures before I go down there. All right, I'll be back. All right, so this is how you get to the back part. So this is be like his and there's one of those ramps on both sides. What's it say over here? So Okay, so here's where all the columns are, and then here's that middle section we can't get to. Here's the ramps going down, and then here are those stairs, right? there and then this whole section this was all walled in and this must have been where he lived his house would have been So in this courtyard here, this would have been his, his front yard area. 
and that's what he would have seen. And then this would have been his home. I bet it would have been a... Apollo. You know, you sit here and you think about what his bedroom had to have been like, or his house would have had to have been like. Looks like a step right there. So that would have been his front door. And he had his own well. So this is where he'd get water from. <clears throat> yep, that's what that is. So this would have been Apollo's front door right here. He would have came up here. And so these would have been the side walls. So this would have been a wall right here probably. See, it's all iced over. <laughs> but so this would have been the wall. And that probably would have been to the second story, maybe. So when he came out his porch <laughs> in the morning and stretched. Well, maybe parts of it, because it looks like these were pillar mounts. So these were probably have been pillars too. So there would have been probably another set of pillars here. And then around the edges might not have been. That looks like it would have been on top of the pillars. So once you walk up the, the steps, this is what the receiving area would have been like, courtyard. Two more huge columns around the roof. Look at that slab. I mean, that slab is, I mean, it's like this slab. It makes you wonder what goes in those doors over there. Main area. A beautiful day. Besides it being 30 degrees. <laughs> This is the other side, the other up ramp. And this one, this is that room I can't get to. I mean, you have to go through those locked gates, but, and that's right above my head here, I think. things to think about. Um, I'm going to pause and come back. So, 
things to think about. One, Apollo. This is Apollo's temple. And does that mean that Medusa lived here? Apollo and Medusa both lived here? Were they people? Fictional characters? Or is this just a temple that they built for him so that they could pray to him? It's like you give your fictional person a, a temple. statues of Medusa. Wow. I'm going to go this way because it's in the sun. Cafe, Oracle Panchon. I guess you can't walk around there, huh? Oh, there's stairs. Wow, this must have been a sight. Look at the structures to help hold up those walls. Look at the mud, ick. Seven hundred BC, huh? Keyway. Fantastic. More than fantastic. Ephesus is amazing, but I think this just on the scale of massiveness and thinking about them moving these stones and then getting them all the way up to 60 feet high and higher is just incredible. Wow. I'll get up to the top of the hill and take a little more pictures for you. Certainly lots of stones around. Incredible. This 
Must have been the stairs down into it. I don't know. Huh. I like catching the columns at the angle. Look at the little guy next to the That's what a column looks like. I guess that gives you a good reference. Look at him climbing the stairs. Thanks for coming, everybody. This has been marvelous. Bye bye. Apollo's area. So, uh, at the Apollo uh, Theater. This is uh, outside of it, and it is full of incredible carpets. And uh, this is the owner, and this is my taxi guy. Hi, everyone. And, uh, and the silk carpets, what's amazing about the silk carpets is that if you notice, I'll show you, I'll try not to step on this. Look at the color from this way, and then if you turn it around, Look at the color this way. That's the same carpet. So it's it's like it's red and brown and what have you. And then if you go this way, it's like, you know, tan, yellow, whitish kind of. And that one too, but they're all the same way. If you go this one that way, and I'll just spin it so you can see it. Look at the color now. It, uh, it changes color. As you turn it but uh, and the knots are really amazing and everything else but uh, and I'm trying uh, apple tea and they brought Turkish delights and I don't know what the biscuits biscuits some kind of yeah. biscuits but uh, the place is full <laughs> of carpets he's got rooms full of carpets amazing wonderful all the chocolates are the chocolate, 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 choc